What was the application process like getting accepted into the CSUN uh, master's screenwriting program? Well, um, it was one of a couple schools that I applied to. Um, I had applied to uh, UCLA, the University of Texas, Cal State Northridge, and Cal State Fullerton. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, you have you know information that you fill out about yourself. You'll hand in a resume so that people will understand you know what your work history is. Um, some schools will ask you for writing samples. Um, the University of Texas asked for a feature, which I sent them, which I had. Um, and then CSUN had asked for two things. They asked for a 30 to 45 page writing sample, uh, for which I sent them a TV pilot that I had written. And then they also asked for a specific five page scene that goes, that has to follow certain parameters that they give you. Uh, in this case, I think it was two people come home and they find a, uh, from the airport and they find that there's a piece of luggage that they had that's actually someone else's. And where does the scene go from there? Oh, wow. So that was kind of neat. I, I played around with that a little bit and I, and I came up with this idea that the, uh, the piece of luggage that they had actually contained the cremated remains of someone they didn't know. And it turned into an argument between a husband and wife because one's uh, mother had passed recently and they had an argument about what they were going to do with her remains. So it all kind of tied into oh, that. Wow. So that was fun. Um, so I ultimately I, I got accepted to Northridge uh, and I also got accepted to Fullerton, which was cool. And I got a chance to talk with uh, the head of the program at Fullerton, who's a wonderful gentleman. Um, his name is Bob. Uh, he used to write for Twin Peaks oh, wow. back in the day. Nice. Um, but ultimately, I decided to go to, to Northridge because they offered me a job in the film program as well. <clears throat> and it's a beautiful campus as well. I, I'm sure Fullerton is too, but I haven't yeah. seen it. Oh, Fullerton's beautiful. Uh, CSUN's beautiful. Uh, CSUN also has a 300,000 square foot gym. Oh, nice. Uh, which I took advantage of every day my first year before I really got into working. Um, so, yeah, it was... It was nice. It was definitely the right decision. Uh, it was the right campus for me to be on, the right time for me to be there. Um, so I'm really happy with the decision that I made. I know we were talking about the competitiveness of California and just how difficult it is to find a job or an apartment, whatever. Yeah. It wasn't guaranteed as well that you would be accepted into these programs? Not at all. Not at all. Um, it, and some of these schools have very, a very high number of applicants. Um, I know UCLA, they get, I think it's thousands of applicants uh, for, I think it's 12 spots in the graduate program oh, wow. each year. Um, so for, yeah, for writing, it's, it's an extremely competitive program. And then what UCLA does that's interesting is they have the extension program. Great program. So if you don't get into the main program, you can go into there and then still you know work with their professors and still create work through the school, which is great. And that was something I had thought about as well uh, before deciding to go back full time. Um, the, um, the reason CSUN and Cal State Fullerton were high on my list was because they had wonderful faculty and they're the most affordable Masters of Fine Arts screenwriting degree in the country. In the country, if oh you're, wow. If you're an in-state California resident, it's the, it's the most affordable program in the U.S. Wow, yeah. I would not think that a place in Los Angeles would qualify for that, that's interesting. That's the beauty of California and the amount of money that they put into education, the amount of subsidization the government has. It allows somebody to go you know, through the program. And for me, I went two years for a graduate program and it cost me, I think, just under $15,000. Really? It, it oh was fantastic. Goodness. It was really wonderful. Wow. So, and as, and some, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, as someone who had a lot of student loans before, you know, that's, that's something that really mattered a lot to me was I wanted to get through this with no debt. And that was something I was able to do. And, and Northridge is great because there's so many things. I mean, it's, it's not really a small town. It's a sense that there's a lot. There's, you know, yes. you're close to so much. It's, yeah. it's yeah. not like you're remote. Yeah, it's great. And, and the fact that I lived in Northridge when I was a student there as well, I never had to use the freeway. And that was just such a godsend. So that was great.